Now that would be a that would be a camping trip. You can. There's no reason. Okay, that's not camping. That is glamping. glamping. And that is definitely what we were talking about today. But you could, like, for real, you could. And that's yeah. the whole point of glamping. It's such a massive trend right now. It started yeah. bubbling up last year and stuff, but now everyone's into glamping. And a lot of people actually were glamping and they didn't really even know it. Let's explain what it is then okay, for those so, people who are like, what language are they speaking? Right, right. What's this word? Why do we make up words? I don't know why we do that nowadays, what we but we do. Um, glamping is glamorous camping. Yeah. So it is camping to a whole nother level. Yeah. So yes, you're going to have all the wonderful things about camping. You're outdoors, you're maybe by the water, maybe luck out, you might be around some wildlife, all those things we really want yeah. for camping. Yeah. But we're not leaving any of the creature comforts at home. Okay, good. So and you're bringing it all, including the kitchen sink. You are, yes, you're not packing light. You're good. not driving <laughs> a little smart car to the campyard. You right. are packing, this is, Again, glamping, Full you're on. not, yeah. Now I still see a tent though, but it's a nice big tent. Yes. And there's some bedding in there, which makes <laughs> me happy. <laughs> because we're gonna know, right? <laughs> it makes me very uh, happy. We're gonna, yeah, we're on the same page with <laughs> this. Okay, your tent is very, very important. You absolutely have to, this is where you put your money in. And you know what, if you don't want to buy a tent, you can, you can rent, a lot of these things. You can rent a For lot sure. of camping things. So yeah. if you don't want to totally commit to camping regularly or your budget doesn't allow it, consider renting. So tent is very important. In this case, bigger is better. Yes, okay, it is. when it comes to your tent. Or you can go the opposite and have your own little suite if you're with a bunch of group of people. But the I idea of sharing that. your tent with people is not glamping style. Okay. No. And you definitely want to make sure it's waterproof. Don't share. You definitely want to make sure it's waterproof because well it just for comfort. I mean yeah. I think even camping you want that. But because as you can see we're not sleeping on the rocks in an old sleeping bag when no. we're glamping. You look like you have a full-fledged mattress in it's there. It's an air mattress that has a That's pump. thick. So you, you, this is it. You want a good night's sleep. You know, a girl's got to be cute. And if you're tired, you're not feeling very <laughs> cute, right? Um, so air mattresses nowadays are outstanding. I mean, yeah. look, this is as thick as the tent. It's My mattress at home is about the same height as totally. that one. So, and it's amazing. And it, is a, it does have a pump, so you're not, you know, <sighs> because right. you'll be passed out and won't remember you're camping. Um, <laughs> and so you want the air mattress. You're not even doing the cot here. You're going full on to air mattress that has got a padded top. Yeah. And bedding, you, if you love a sleeping bag, if you do want to go there, of course there's a luxurious ones out there. They're down filled, they're fabulous. But I say bring your bedding. Bring throws, bring lots of pillows. You want that luxurious, cozy feeling, yeah. a good night's sleep. It's almost that, you know, modern take in the Sultan's tent, that luxury, yes. you know, that glamorous. I love and it. And so you're gonna cozy on down here and you're gonna have your coffee in the morning, still lounging in bed, because you're glamping, you're camping. You're glamping. There's no alarm clock happening here. If that was my camping bed, I would say, don't eat your cookies in my bed. <laughs> so you can eat your cookies over here because I have a dining room. You are. <laughs> yes, you've got on a my dining room. Inside, I have a dining room. So you are, this is like, great. you're not necessarily eating on the rock. These fold up. This is this seems like holy cow, but they all fold up, nice and compact. They can slide into the back of your whatever SUV or whatever you're bringing, because that yeah. again, that is the type of thing you're going to do. And you're you're actually bringing cutlery, and you're actually bringing glasses. This is glamping. You know, yeah. there's no plastic cups involved here. If you want to go and do this, and really again, feel like you've got the creature comforts. Now, would your husband go for this? I, he would just be shocked I was in the wilderness in the first place. <laughs> so yes, he would go for it just because he would love to go camping. He's a hardcore camping though. He's like yeah. a, a stick and a sheet and a, I don't know, a matchbook and he's good for a week. Yes, you're, like, we're married to the same man. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, and that can't happen, but this can. <laughs> this can. This, this is, is my is, world. Because this is luxurious. Yeah. And same thing, again, not leaving your creature comforts. What Another thing it must have is a solar charger. Now these things are oh, okay. amazing because when we're glamping, we're not looking to leave our technology at home. Right. We're, that's not the point of this. That person's camping. Glamping people are, still have your cell phones, you're still staying on social media, you're still staying up to date, you know, in contact, hopefully not checking work emails, but I don't judge if you are. Yeah. But this, for example, this is a solar charger. Like they've come so far that you can charge your gadgets or if you put up patio lights, you can charge, you know, you can run them off this. So these things in camping stores have gone such a long way. Yeah. And literally just out in the sun. That's and smart. One, one thing I absolutely love is you can, like again, you're bringing your technology. Most of the Canadian parks now, are you ready for this? Have Wi-Fi. Which, I'm nodding head, see there's That's people who know this. That's crazy, yeah. So you can do, you can stay on top of everything. You're not using up your, you know, your data if you're yeah. far away from where your, your base is. 
And you can stream things, so you can watch <laughs> movies, you can binge watch wow. your TV shows. Think of it on a rainy day, you're with the kids, or just to chill out. Yeah. I know that I'm too busy to watch like those shows that I like, you know, Orange is the New Black, love that show. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I binge watch that, for example. Right. So this is when I'll have time to do it. That's actually relaxing to me. That's fun. Well, you know, the other thing is, let's say you don't necessarily want to be <laughs> plugged in. A lot of people, their devices, that's their camera. That's their Absolutely. clock, that's their everything. Yes. So if you can still be connected, you can still take all those photos, you can still have your alarm clock, even if you don't want to be, you know, connected. 100%, your music, it's, it's your, your music. music. I mean, these devices are absolutely now. integrated in our right? lives. So yeah. to leave them behind, I know some people want that, but it's not for everybody. Right. And then last but not least. Oh my gosh, there's a bar. <laughs> I know, there's a bar, I told what? you it's glamping. Last but not least, you have to bring a couple of like guilty indulgence. Yeah. This to me is beyond fabulous. It is a hand rotary blender. Oh my God. Oh yeah. So <laughs> some people might use it for smoothies. I use it for margaritas, but right. it might be your morning smoothie, maybe whatever. So you can still have fun with your group of friends, entertain and really feel like um, luxurious and have fun. That is amazing. I'm coming glamping with you. Okay.